Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn about time trigger. How can you use this time trigger activity? Right? So let's get started. Now the very first thing what we will do, we'll drag and drop this particular activity time trigger. And then let's configure this. Now in this time trigger activity, there are multiple different options available. First is you will be selecting the time zone. So uh, because I am from India, I am going to type Kolkata, Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai. So this is our time zone, Indian time zone. So once I have selected this, then you would select the frequency. You have multiple options, minute by minute, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly and advanced cron expressions. Now let us start with minute by minute so that we can run some demo and actually check it. So I'm saying minute by minute. Repeat every one minute. So I'm saying every one minute you repeat or you can say every two minute you repeat. Right. So let us keep it to one minute. Every one minute let it repeat. So I've used this activity. After that let's say you are using certain activities for your process. So for this demo purpose we will go with a message box. And in the message box, let's write something. Time trigger testing passed. I'm writing some message. Now this is your simple workflow containing only two activities at the moment. But below this, you can have your entire automation created. And this is the trigger activity which will decide at what time the job will start. The main purpose of this activity, if you highlight this activity, it gives you that message, schedule a recurrent time to start a job. So the purpose of this activity is to start a job. Now what we will do, we have, first thing what we have done, we have configured the time trigger activity. Time trigger activity. And what is the purpose? To start a job as per scheduled time, right? within the activity. So within the activity, whatever, however you have scheduled based on that, it's going to start. Main purpose is to start a job. All right. Now, the, what is the second step? Once you have configured, second step is we will publish it to orchestrate, publish to orchestrate. Okay. So let's do that. Hit on publish and give some name. So here I will give it a name called time trigger testing. You can provide a name. After that, let us hit on next. And then I am going to publish it to the orchestrator tenant process feed and hit on publish. Now what happened? This trigger got published to orchestrator. Let's go to orchestrator. So I am in the orchestrator. In the orchestrator, where do you find this particular package that we have uploaded by going to the tenant layer and hitting on packages. So this is where you would find the recently uploaded package, which is time trigger testing. After that, we'll go to a specific folder, any folder of your choice and click on automations and go to process and let's create a process. So the very third step we are doing is creating a process. So here while creating a process, I'm going to demonstrate an important step creating process. So what is the important step here? First you hit on process tab, add process, select the package that you have just uploaded, which is time trigger, right? Simply type time. So this is the package. So select that it is going to select the version appropriate version the uh, latest version and then hit on next. It is giving some default arguments that comes through this activity. Let us, let us slightly ignore at the moment. And now there is something called time trigger. The package requirements, the package requirements, here you see time trigger. Now, if you are doing it just like how I have done, you might see a red icon here, which is saying missing. And if you highlight that, it will tell you we cannot determine 
if this time trigger exist due to no name so it is checking in the orchestrator you haven't created any such time trigger so where exactly this is available so there is a plus sign all you do click on add trigger now what is the benefit if i have to really add it what is the benefit now the benefit is if you have to create a time trigger you have to, supposed to enter all these details now what happened all the details are properly pre selected everything is your chennai kolkata time zone everything got pre selected and the expression that you have written here every minute it should run so if you know cron expression so this stands for the first letter stands for 0th second then minute then r so in the minute if you put a forward slash in one the meaning of this is every minute every one minute if i write two it will become every two minutes if i write three it will say every three minutes then you have the r that means every r and then you have the date like 1 to 31st you have a date right then there is a month then this is a day of the week like monday saturday sunday and last one is the year which is optional so it is automatically writing the cron expression now there will be a question coming to our mind rakesh what is cron expression i am not aware so what you do simply type ui path cron expression okay write ui path cron expression rakesh you will find one of my video which you can take help from so this is the video schedule your bot using cron expression okay so in this i have explained everything how you can write a cron expression this also could be an interview question write a cron expression for the bot to run every 15 minutes every day or write a cron expression which would run every day every month on 15th or last date of the month so all these things if you just go through this video you will be able to at the end you will be able to learn a cron expression and you can create any kinds of cron expressions so please watch this video in case you do not remember or you are not aware of cron expression at all then this is the video for you all right guys now let's go back okay let's go back so the cron expression is pre built so now you don't have to do anything whatever activities that you have created based on the activity the expression will get auto created okay i will show you we will change it to something else you will see this expression currently which is there right so let me type it so what is the cron expression we have so this expression mean meaning what every minute the automation will run that is the meaning of this so this stands for second the second stands for this one is stands for minute hour date month day of the month right like monday tuesday uh, wednesday thursday friday like that and this is the year okay all right so this is the expression that we have got automatically getting generated because of the activity that we have placed in our uapa studio that is the benefit so let's go back and simply hit on add the moment you hit on add this becomes green color that means now this trigger is available time trigger testing everything has automatically came now all you do after this hit on next and here let me leave the display name if you leave it blank it will automatically pick the name of the process so simply hit on create so what happened a trigger with the process both got created the process is created now the trigger also got created while creating the process if you go to the triggers if you go to the time trigger for the folder you will see automatically the trigger got created you didn't have to manually come here and do it so that is the one of the benefit okay now you can see it is saying in 39 seconds is going to run so let us slightly wait okay you can see only few seconds are left now you will see the process the job should have already started you can see it is still trying to get the bot it's running okay so finally the message box has automatically appeared time trigger testing passed getting it now if you look at the trigger again it is waiting for next 1 minute so every 1 1 minute it is going to continuously run so let us first delete this otherwise it will disturb me every 1 1 minute that message box will continue to appear so now what you have understood is time trigger now let's change slight bit you know let's change few things here for example minute by minute okay so what we will do we'll select daily instead of minute by minute i will select daily repeat every every 
every day okay repeat every day so i'm putting one that means it will repeat every day at what time so right now what is the time okay let's check that current time current time so right now it is 9:32 pm monday 11th march so it's 9:32 pm so what i will do i will set it for 9:35 minutes let's go back to the studio and here simply click on this upper button it will automatically give you the current time and then let's set it to you know highlight what you want to increase and then let me set it to 9:35 pm okay now let's save this so daily at 9:30 pm every day so hit on publish and hit on next orchestra is okay one thing you have to change the name time trigger testing name of the process and hit on next next and then hit on publish all right so as soon as it get published okay it got published now let's quickly go to orchestrator all right and here let's go to the process and here if you select this process um what is the process name time right time time trigger so you click on this select this and click on this button it will automatically get updated to 1.0.5 now if you go to the trigger so sorry i have deleted the trigger right um well so what we will do we'll go to the trigger let's do one thing uh let me delete this process time trigger delete it let's let's create the process once again add process select the package as time okay and then 1.0.5 hit on next so here the time trigger has come click on the plus sign now look at it here if you see the expression has completely changed if i copy this to my notepad if you compare the previous expression with this expression it is changed so it is saying 35 that means 21 935 you run every day right every day you run so daily you can see at the date it's saying as one that means every day so the expression has automatically picked up hit on add and then next hit on create hope it is not 935 otherwise you have to wait for tomorrow now let's go to the trigger so the trigger it is going to run in next 51 seconds okay it is going to be 935 now so current time if i refresh it's 934 pm so now in next couple of seconds it's going to start so the expression is auto getting created that is the benefit if you don't know how to write the current expression you can simply use the activity it will automatically create it for you Okay, so 28 seconds. Let us wait. Okay, three seconds. Any time. Okay, I think the job would have started. See, it is running. Now, any time you would see that message. So you can see on my screen this message has appeared. Time trigger testing passed. Getting it? Now, if you go back to the trigger, what it's saying in next 23 hours. so daily i have done right one time so it is going to run in after next 23 hours so this is the demo of the time trigger activity so thank you guys for watching anybody who watched till the end please do comment and mention that you have watched till the end of this video so thanks for your patience let's move on to our next topic